You can't really have a chocolate story without M&M's making an appearance. This little guy has such a long and illustrious history. Let's go inside and talk to Alex Wong and learn more about these tasty morsels and a little bit more about chocolate history. We're here in Times Square doing season two of A Day Without Chocolate. Hey Alex, how you doing? Hey, hi, I'm good. Good, good to have you and thank you for welcoming us to M&M's World Times Square. It's fantastic to be here and we're talking a lot about the history of chocolate and I know this place talks about the history of chocolate. Tell me something, this place has got to give us great stories. Do you have any fun stories that happened here at M&M's World Times Square? Yes, of course. We got have people come to do like wedding proposal in the store. We have people doing like M&M's tattoo on their body. And we also have guests come to collect every single dispenser. They actually go to every M&M's World store in the world to collect all the dispensers. Hey Alex, I gotta ask you though, what is your top selling item here at M&M's World Times Square? Guess what? We're in New York, so. Our top one item, it's I heard New York candy yeah. with the co-pack little airboat here. It's an iconic product for New York. Nice. And so it's a great product for our store. And it's a top one item for MMs for New York. We have another one. It's a dispenser. It's Lady Liberty. Yeah, of course you, everyone you, knows that. You gotta right? have Lady Liberty yeah. when you come to New York City. Yeah. That's one you gotta it's take with you. Have for our store. Thanks for having us in your store today. No problem, my pleasure. I really appreciate it. But speaking of those 16 million M&Ms, I'm gonna go find them and start eating them right now. I'll see you later. All right, enjoy, don't get lost. <laughs>